releasing some quotas for saying, oh, money has been released to the counties. That is your job. That is the job of the executive to ensure that our counties are financed on time. This schedule here, Mr. Speaker, uh, once we pass the schedule, the people of Nairobi expect that by the 15th of July of this month and by the 15th of August next month, each of the counties will have received the monies that have been specified. Ordered, uh, Senator Sifona. Yes, the Mr. Honorable Speaker. The Senator Chirangai wishes to inform you. I reject in total that offer. <laughs> Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Mr. Speaker. What is the point of order, uh, Senator Boni? Mr. Speaker, you have heard uh, severally. The, I'm, I'm rising on standing order number 105. The Senator for Nairobi yes. speak to a misleading statement that the amount which was allocated in Dora Bill, there was no increment. Yes. Mr. Speaker, the second falsehood is alleging here is that there is a delay in the disbursement of funds. And yet, Mr. Speaker, as late as last week, there was no single county with an arrears. In fact, last week, Mr. Speaker, 32 billion shillings was dispersed. Is he in order to mislead the House, knowing that Dora, that we passed here, raised the money from 370 billion to 385.3 billion, and that all the areas that were, had been accumulated by the handshake BBI government was cleared. Is he in order? Senator Sifona, kindly be factual in your comments. Mr. Speaker, it is a fact that the 15 billion shillings additional that is going to the counties was passed not by the Senate, but by the National Assembly. In the Green Bill that came before this House, that money had been allocated by the National Assembly. We as a Senate did not add a single shilling. Our own committee, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, I must order, be heard in silence. This cannot continue. Order, order, this cannot order, continue. Order, honorable senators. Order, honorable senators. If I hear the senator correctly, he said that the Senate did adopt the bill as it came from the National Assembly. Correct. And that is factual. Yes. That is factual, Mr. Speaker. Can I proceed? What, what, what is your point of order, Senator Borne? Mr. Speaker, according to the Constitution of Kenya, the Dora Bill cannot be signed into law without the concurrence of the two houses. Mr. Speaker, is the Senator for Nairobi in order to mislead the country that by us agreeing with the National Assembly, we were failing in our responsibility, and yet we were meeting the constitutional threshold that expects that for Dora to become law, it should need the Honourable concurrence of the two houses, Mr. Senator Speaker. Boni. Mr. Speaker, sir, in conclusion on this point of order, I'm tired and sick of new senators in this house giving the impression that we don't know what we are doing, we are not up to the task. We have worked, Mr. Speaker, and we want our conscience to appreciate as much. I don't earn a free salary. Senator Boni. Uh, if I had Senator Sifuna make his comments, this is what he said that the Senate adopted the figure as passed by the National Assembly. So there was concurrence of the figure between the two houses, which is factual. So I don't see why then there is a big problem there, Senator Boni. The two houses concurred that the figure to increase by the 15 billion from last year's uh, uh, allocation. Where is the problem here? 
Senator Sifuna proceed.